It's a uh, 140 unit uh, uh, community, residential community, with uh, homes starting in the uh, under $200,000 range, 159000 uh, green built. Uh, if you look outside, you can see we kept the tree canopy from day one. And it's really aimed at the local market, the teachers, the nurses, the, uh, some retirees also, as well as policemen and so forth. Um, it is green. Every home we built is Energy Star. We're enhancing that now. The North Carolina Brownfields program uh, at the state level operated by uh, the North Carolina De uh, Department of Environment and Natural Resources is designed to help put properties back into economic use, create jobs. Um, sometimes when you think of brownfields, you think of big commercial properties, but, um, but it really it's designed to make sure that redevelopment can happen safely for the environment and human health. So that since this property was formerly on an apple orchard, uh, Jim Armour and Jeff Cosgrove, uh, the partners of Summit Springs, voluntarily entered the Brownfields program. And the, and the Brownfields program is a voluntary program where they voluntarily entered in order to have the state walk them through, make sure that they are testing for the right things. Jeff and, and, and Jim with Summit Springs did environmental testing for soil and groundwater and any potential contaminants. And the state Brownfields program reviewed those assessments to make sure that anything that they were going to do on the property would be safe for the environment and human health. And what's interesting is the sort of final seal of approval for the Brownfields program is um, when the state enters into a Brownfields agreement with the developer and they've finalized that agreement just this month.